Hello world, Lock Picking Dev here. I brought myself an American, an old style American padlock here uh, from the Junkock, uh, Junkock Brothers, uh, Chicago, Illinois. On the back it has stamped USN. I'm not sure if that's a US Navy or what, uh, but that's stamped on there. Got the numbers on top, 57292. Uh, this is a wafer lock. And uh, as you can see the bottom here, Honestly, not too hard to pick, so I figured this would be a good one for a little bit more of a strenuous hike. Make sure I get it on camera here. Can't hear the clicks in this one so much. Got like three there. It's because it is kind of old. Oh, one there. <laughs> that was really quick. So there we are. And let's go ahead and show the key. It actually went really fast. In the past, I've had to pick at both sides there. So yeah, old style American lock. Wafer style. Just to show you that. See, it does not turn on its own. So yeah, it definitely was picked. Now let's, uh, let's pick you up and show you around without, without dying. So this is Rainier. Glaciers, crevasses. You can hear the water down there melting off and running. And over that way is the Olympics. And then back this way. You can see a little lake down there, nice turquoise lake. Up over here is uh, Mount Fremont where I just did my hike the one of the last videos did my hike there and took a sunset uh, video there. All right, that padlock cannot be gutted, so this will be the end of the video. Again, that was an old-style American padlock, a Junkock Brothers, a wafer type lock, and this is uh, Mount Rainier National Park. Just completed the Burroughs hike and took a little bit further. Ended with a gorgeous view. It almost feels like you can get it, like you can touch it. Give you an idea of the uh, size of it. Right here, there's some people climbing up. If you can see some specks right there. That's how small people are. So that's still quite a bit of ways. Damn, is it beautiful. Alright, everybody.